What if your company is one of the, the poor ones that is, is really struggling to get by and you're, you're not paying employees this kind of money? Are you going to have to revert to long security lines, lost baggage, and delays? Would this company have to rely on commercial aviation? And I believe currently, general aviation appears to even offer perks for businesses that operate on a tight budget. Although the words private jet are likely to be omitted from this business's traveling expenditures, propeller and turbine aircrafts tend to be excellent at cutting cost. And even though a jet aircraft will get you to your destination slightly faster, the amount of money that you will save on a propeller and turbine plane is definitely worth a few minutes. So a lot of people, a common misconception that people have is that when you're going to go out and purchase a plane, the only thing you're going to have to worry about is the cost to get the aircraft and then you got to pay for the fuel. That's what a lot of people think, it's just the fuel in the airplane. And this is far from the truth. Um, the cost of operating a, plane, op operating a private plane goes way beyond that. You have to look at um, insurance, got to pay for a hangar, you got to be saving money for every um, so certain number of hours, you're going to have to overhaul the engines, you're going to have to overhaul the propellers, you got to pay for a pilot, there's all these fees add up, and that's, where, that's why this can even seem very expensive for a jet, because it's, there's a lot of operating expenses. But, when you purchase a propeller or turbine plane, these, these operating costs go way down. And I, through a lot of research I've done, I think I have found the perfect plane for businesses that are operating on a tight budget. You want to write this one down. Um, and can you please go to the next slide. That shows the airplane that I believe businesses with a tight budget should purchase. It's called the Cessna 414. It's an eight-passenger plane. It's a smaller plane, but it's a very for affordable for a business. Now, let me show you this. This is, this is through, I've calculated out the cost per mile to fly that thing, okay? Cost per mile, ready for this? $1.64 per mile. Includes the insurance, includes the pilot, includes the plane, includes everything in that per mile. So, if you calculate it out, we're going to go the same trip on using this aircraft. Going to Chicago, New York. 750 mile trip. On American Airlines or your private jet, it's going to take you this long. It's going to be 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay? But flying in that plane, it's going to take you 2 hours and 45 minutes. Now if you calculate it out, for this trip, it's taking two hours and 45 minutes, it costs $371 an hour to operate that plane. It's going to cost you $1,022.51 for the trip. So if you get four people on this plane, four people for your business, it can come out to about $250 bucks per person. Now there is a catch to this. This is, this is what the inside of the plane looks. Not too, not too shabby for a, for a business that's trying to get by without money. But uh, the catch is you're going to have to fly your plane on a consistent basis. You, this, these numbers have been calculated out. You're going to have to fly about 200 hours a year to be able to, to make, make the operating cost. You've got to be traveling with your business on a very consistent, regular basis to make it work out for you. But there are other ways. If you cannot fly on a consistent basis, there are ways to get around it. You can go into fractional ownership, where you go in with four people, you divide up evenly, you can divide up the hours evenly to work out. You can charter some, fly commercial some to make it work out. But for businesses that travel a lot, this plane is very good at cutting costs for your business. What is good about private and general aviation is not only are you helping yourself? Not only are you helping your company to save thousands of dollars, save people time, but what is amazing about this reality is not only will aircraft ownership help a business to save time and resources, but it will also enable a business to help out the economy. Currently, general aviation has been hit hard recently, and I'm here to tell you this morning that general aviation is much more than an economic driving force and an efficient means of business travel. 
It serves the public interest in a variety of ways, from the Angel Flight Network, providing free travel to people in need of medical care, to the key role it plays in disaster relief like it played in Haiti, and search and rescue efforts. It's one of the few remaining industries that the United States dominates, with American manufacturers holding more than 70% of the world market. It helps spur technological innovation, and general aviation creates almost 1.3 million jobs in our country today, and it is essential in keeping unemployment from continuing to skyrocket. Recently, three automakers, CEOs, flew to Washington, so you may remember this. People from General Motors, and guess what? They flew, they flew to Washington, D.C. in their private jets. And there was a public outlash against them because they had flown in private jets and people considered it a waste of money. They didn't realize the money that it actually helped companies save money. And, because, and recently, um, the economy tanked with deliveries of general aviation planes down 41%. Just recently, 12,000 jobs of general aviation jobs have been lost. Unemployment keeps it going, going up. And the TSA, Transportation Safety Administration, impose strict new regulations on all general aviation airports, so it's been a lot harder to participate in this. But you as a company can invest, and not only will you be helping your company to possibly save money, time, resources, but it will also help you to help out the economy and help out your country in this economic crisis. In closing, I want you to try to view the private plane this way. The private plane is one of the, one of the big, be, big benefits that it gives a business is a better use of assets. And usually companies' two biggest assets are what? They're people and time. And people need to realize that an airplane is nothing more than just a tool for doing business. Just like you use a computer. What is a computer for? It's to help improve productivity. And a business can help improve your productivity but by better use of your assets through using people and time better. You can help your business to save time and resources and also help your economy in this economic crisis that we face. Thank you very much. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Dudley?